ladies and gentlemen, and thanks to the organizer for inviting me at this uh, event, the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals for the Benefit of Society. Uh, I am Mario Malinconico, Research Director at the Institute for Polymer Composite and Biomaterials of CNR. Mm, uh, I share this presentation with Maurizio Peruzzini, Research Director at CNR and uh, uh, Chair of the uh, Italian Committee for IUPAC uh, and the Delegate for the National Adhering Organization, and with uh, Augusta Maria Paci, uh, Research Technologist at CNR and Deputy Representative uh, with me at the International Science uh, Council. The topic of our uh, speech is collaboration and synergies in Italy between science and society, a systemic approach to the scale of change for the sustainable development goals. As I say, I am uh, the representative for uh, Italy uh, at the International Science Council since 2019. And uh, the International Science Council uh, is um, um, indicated as the global voice for science, which is particularly important uh, since uh, uh, in July 2018, uh, the International Science Council uh, merged together the International Council for Science and the International Social Science Council. So it's now really covering all aspects of uh, science. Which are the challenges I had uh, and uh, what they ask for uh, the cultural change? The need is to accelerate and activate cultural and scientific capacities to meet the society expectation of complex problems described as the sustainable development goals. The scale of change requires urgent actions to protect the people and society made progress from climate and health risks. The important objectives for this change call for synergies between international organizations in order to identify common priorities with related policies at the global and country level, to initiate stakeholders to the transition towards the circularity of processes and products, to start enabling the energy conversion in industrial processes. And that is why sustainable chemistry can be the science enabling a rapid and effective, as well as a long-term conversion and covering almost any area of societal progress. Really, the scale of change is around uh, us. How uh, IUPAC uh, CNR in Italy and the International Science Council work together, which are the key assets of these two big organizations for the uh, period from uh, 2019 to 2023. The CNR Italian uh, National Adhering Organization with its uh, established National Commission for IUPAC is proactively promoting its program for sustainable chemistry. The National Adhering Organization of Italy permanently involves representatives of International Science Council as the broader global partner for connecting the respective actions and making stronger the voice of science. From his side, the International Science Council updates the now Italy National Commission on cross-cutting actions for the benefit of science 
and civic society. Together, they develop joint thematic workshops. Together, they enhance the participation of scientists to multi-level projects, the sustainable development goals programs, intercultural events, and to expertise search. And again, together, they support at the global level science statements and the nominations, targeting the perspective of sustainability. Which are the scale of change for uh, sustainable development goals? What do they require? To increase the international organization to share high level objectives, to increase the opportunities to connect the major research institutions involving the respective scientific community of hard science and social sciences. In this respect, the connection with the academias uh, of sciences is very, very important, and we pursue this uh, connection. To develop multidisciplinary perspectives of researchers to maximize the resources and impacts uh, and being CNR, a multidisciplinary uh, science organization, it is particularly uh, devoted to such uh, uh, multidisciplinary perspective. To grow visibility at the United Nations policy level for global as well as for state actions to add the value to existing and the new efforts. Just a field level example for uh, climate is uh, fighting uh, the um, littering by single use of plastics. The IUPAC National Adhering Organization, CNR, believes that a systemic approach is particularly required for lessening the impact of dangerous effects uh, of climate change. The field level is built on advanced chemistry for the responsible management of marine litter through the development of advanced biopolymers and materials, which in the reason of their the biodegradability and renewability can um, work very well for the reduction of the impact of single-use plastics. The current synergy between IUPAC and National Adhering Organization and uh, International Science Council, also at the European and the country level, is built on strong uh, IUPAC Division IV projects and currently aims at maximizing efforts with actions and workshops for raising the global environmental awareness and chemistry culture aims at accelerating the change in world needs also through the Cameroon Committee, the Committee uh, Chemistry for the uh, uh, World Needs, at achieving reduced costs, regulations, jobs, and increased the societal engagement of both producer, consumers, and citizen awareness. Examples from the next, in terms of challenge ahead, the reflection on current massive growth in single-use plastic packaging and on products with their heavy impact on marine environment. The resulting for, from the pandemic, immediate and urgent need for a rapid change and for a societal transformation and to focus on common priorities to outline a new synergy for international organization for science. We all witness how the pandemic situation has increased the number of items of, made of single-use plastics, which are from one, one side unavoidable because they help to protect people, but at the same time they pose new uh, urgent needs for managing the disposal of these uh, new materials. And uh, also next uh, is the uh, uh, 
participation of Italy to the e, uh, ISC EU Group Management Board for the period 2022-2024. Actually, there has been a recent election of uh, uh, management group board, and uh, I was uh, elected among other uh, distinguished colleagues uh, around Europe to uh, joining the forces for advancing knowledge in and for society. Well, which experience we can derive from recent past? The participation, for example, to um, IUPAC projects, uh, which uh, means uh, uh, to uh, help the knowledge of uh, um, chemical problems impacting on uh, uh, single-use plastic management. Uh, I am the, uh, the task group chair of a project on additives intended to promote the degradation of polyolefin-based thermoplastic materials, which, as you can imagine, are the materials uh, maxim maximizing the use in single-use uh, plastics. Well, uh, this project is still running, and as you can see, there are members coming from uh, all the world and from uh, academia and also industry. Another project that, that uh, I can mention is a project managed, uh, chaired by another Italian colleague, Roberto Terzano, which uh, uh, aims to analyze trace elements uh, in environmental samples using advanced advanced uh, um, analytical methods such as synchrotron um, uh, analysis. Once again, this project can have a, an important impact on, uh, um, uh, on uh, chemistry of, of safety um, approach. And as you can see, there are members which also in this case coming from all over the, um, the world. And uh, I am particularly uh, glad to mention this last event, which uh, was uh, chaired and organized by um, myself in Rome, uh, the 21st IUPA Camero Conference. Uh, in 2016, this conference dealt with the solid urban waste management and the outcome of the conference uh, as you can see uh, covering all the topic from education to energy to materials uh, to organic valorization uh, the outcome of this conference were delivered in the hand of pope francis uh, as a, uh, you know pope francis is one of the most uh, um, uh, uh, strong um, uh, person at the moment uh, sustaining uh, the fighting of uh, climate change, the fighting of uh, um, economic poverty through um, uh, climate change and to fight against uh, the nature uh, depopulation. With this slide, I thank uh, all of you for the attention, and I also thank my colleagues, uh, Augusta Maria Paci and Maurizio Peruzzini, for sharing with me this interesting um, uh, presentation. Thanks for all.